Greetings, greetings, greetings. How are you? How are you? Hello, hello, hello. I am Lady Tiffany Nicole, founder of Power Influence Radio. And just a moment, we'll get started here shortly. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Great. And I'm just waiting on our guests to come in. But I am your girl, your homie. Yes, this is from around the way. Lady Tiffany Nicole, I am the founder, CEO of Power Influence Radio, using the power of radio to make a kingdom influence around the globe. I am also the host of The Virtuous Hour with Lady Tiffany Nicole every Saturday morning from 8 to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Power Influence Radio every Saturday. I am elated and excited to join the Swag Her Magazine audience this morning. Shout out to Fancy and the team for trusting me with this platform. If you are not connected to Swag Her Magazine and their public relations services and suites and all that they have to offer, I highly recommend you connect with Swag Her Magazine today. It's been an amazing time for me. I am elated to interview this afternoon Aisha Isaiah Taylor Isaiah and I hope I'm saying her name correctly. Soon as she joins I'll be able to add her on. I thought I would be able to I'm waiting on her request to join at this moment but let's get some um, salutations out to everyone here. Hello Liam Lily 416, thank you for joining us. Bougie 2014, thanks for joining us. Um, powered by Mojo, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Skinny Maven, hey Queen, how you doing? Fancy, of course, is in the building. Thank you, Queen, so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Salutations. As Fancy says, greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm excited to split a, spread a little black girl magic this afternoon with you as we discuss the Sisters in Business Expo. I am totally waiting on the um, guest of the hour, Miss Aisha. Taylor Isaiah, waiting, waiting, and waiting. Hello, I am Carly Vene. Thanks for tuning in. Waiting on the guest of the hour. So how are you guys doing this Wednesday afternoon? We're here to spread a little black girl magic. Here, speaking of black girl magic, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to my people. I'm always supporting um, African American sisters in business. So this is no coincidence that I'm able to I'll interview Asia Taylor Isaiah tonight as we discuss Sisters in Business Expo. So my earrings are by the My Collection, a lady by the name of Minette Young out of Houston, Texas. My Black Girl Magic uh, shirt was created by um, Chocolate Girl Designs out of Dallas, Texas. This is actually, I did a Black Girl Magic theme for my birthday, uh, December of 2020. And so I'm always rocking this shirt and my color, as you can imagine. It's Tiffany and Co. Tiffany Blue. So of course, I got the bling bling for you tonight, tonight, tonight. And the brim is from Fem Simply Fancy Boutique out of Houston, Texas. So of course, I'm spreading a little black girl magic tonight while we support Sisters in Business Expo. I'm excited to connect with Asia, and I pray that I'm saying her name right. She owns the sister shop here in Atlanta and Jersey City. So I'm excited to connect and see what she has popping this weekend. If you're in the Atlanta or surrounding areas, listen, make sure you connect with Sisters in Business Expo this Saturday. It is going down 
here in Atlanta. Absolutely. I, Isaiah, yes, yes, yes. And you can follow Sisters in Business Expo at S-I-B-E-X-P-O. S-I-B-E-X-P-O. Um, to find out more about it. And fancy, there's a lot of, you know, notes that I would need to pop in. If you don't mind putting those notes in the comments. Because this is a new platform for me, guys. So um, I'm I'm coming out of my comfort zone to do an Instagram interview. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Listen, you can follow your girl, your homie, your sister from around the way at, at the Virtuous Hour on, fa on Instagram as well as Facebook. You can also follow the radio station Power Influence Radio on Instagram and Facebook. We have so, so, so much more coming make sure you follow so that you won't miss what's happening on those platforms thank you thank you thank you so much the time is winding down but i'm glad to be here how you guys doing on this amazing wednesday let me get some comments how you guys doing on this wednesday did you know that september was self-care month what are you doing for yourself for self-care how are you taking care of yourself what are you doing? I had an opportunity to um, get a full body massage this Saturday. Chair massage on the women wasn't my plan, but hey, I got it done on the women. I've been feeling amazing. Rock, walking on cloud nine every since Saturday, I had my full body massage, chair massage. She got in deep into some nice kinks and knots in my back. So I highly recommend a massage, um, some quality time to yourself exercise, eating a little healthier, take a road trip somewhere in September, um, dip out, do something different for you doing self-care month. And you know what else you can do during self-care month? You can get you a good read in a magazine. Why not choose Swag Her Magazine to spend some self-care time with yourself and get some quality content and information of culture entertainment an amazing magazine you just might see someone featured in the magazine as well last but certainly not least make sure you sign up there's quality content being sent i know you like listen my emails is full of junk mail not with swag her magazine there's quality content and information being sent to your email daily about culture entertainment grant opportunities you must get on the swagger email list absolutely absolutely all righty sib expo has joined see if we can get an invitation to join miss asia come on in with your invitation to join and I can um, get you added in. I have no request to join at this time. Great, 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 great. The time is winding down. Hello, BD Delta. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Hi, Queen. How are you? I'm hanging. How are you, sis? I'm blessed. I absolutely cannot complain. Thank you so much for joining us on the Swag Card platform. It's such an amazing opportunity to meet you and connect with you today. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, interview started. I think we have a hard stop pretty soon. Is that correct? <laughs> yes, even that got pushed back. But yes, we can hang, uh, hang out till seven. How are you? Oh, great, great, great. What the Lord do it if you let him. Amen. Amen. Every time. Every time. Listen, I know it's crunch time for you for the Sisters in Business mm -hmm. Expo. So we're going to go ahead and get started. But I totally understand being a queen boss myself, how things happen. But hey, let's get started. I am your girl, your homie, your sister from around the way, Lady Tim Nicole. And I am the CEO of Power Influence Radio, as well as uh, the show host of the Virtuous Hour every Saturday morning. Morning, and I'm a client of Swag Her Magazine. And today we have the amazing Aisha Taylor Isaiah. Am I saying that right, Queen? 
<laughs> no. Let me help that. you out. It's Aisha Taylor Issa. Aisha Taylor Issa. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. We got to get the name right so the checks are spelled right and we can cash them correctly. Amen. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so tell us just a little bit about yourself and um, who you are and what's happening this weekend. Sure, sure. So uh, my name is Aisha Taylor Issa. Good evening, everyone. I'm the founder and CEO of the Sisters in Business Expo. Uh, we're the country's only multi-city small business expo and community created specifically to celebrate and educate entrepreneurial women of color. We do that through various means, our uh, large-scale trade shows that are hosted in several cities around the country, our Sisters in Business University, which is the teaching and training arm of our brand, our Sisters in Business Foundation, which is our nonprofit entity, which provides grants to women of color entrepreneurs through our pitch competitions and most recently added our sister shop which is our retail and e-commerce destination that features the brands of over 100 women of color entrepreneurs from around the country uh and so we're excited we're on tour right now and this saturday we have the third stop of our 2022 tour happening in atl Wow, great. Well, thank you. Welcome to the big ATL. So are you from Atlanta or where are you from? I am from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised. Shout out to Brooklyn. Uh, most recently was in Jersey. I am an Atlanta resident now. But yeah, um, we um, our tour uh, goes to Newark, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Columbia, I'm sorry, Atlanta and um, Philly. And so we're on the Atlanta stop coming up this Saturday. Awesome. Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's get into these questions while we have an opportunity. So how black how does black women open businesses have or black women open businesses have continued to thrive despite lower access to resources than most? Can you help us with that and the importance of highlighting black women owned small businesses and how the shop and expo support the community overall yeah sure so i mean it's just who we are as black women it's what we do right we get it done um one way or another and so the same is true as it relates to starting and growing our businesses when there is not a way we find a way or we make a way um thankfully we are in a climate where a lot more opportunities and funding and things like that are becoming available uh, for Black women entrepreneurs. Um, it's still not enough, uh, of course, but we definitely have uh, more options than we had uh, a few years ago. But there's still a wide gap. There's still a, a lot more to be done as it relates to funding businesses owned by Black women. And so, um, you know, when others don't do for us, we do for ourselves. And so you will find many um, organizations like us who are creating the platforms that we need, creating the funding and opportunities that are needed for Black women to thrive in business, um, as well as leaning on um, our community to to be the ones who are helping us to propel. So um, we get it done. Great. So the um, how can someone um, connect with the many different aspects of Sisters of Business Expo? I heard you say like a clinic or education platform as well as know where the next tours are how can they connect with you and receive some of your services are they limited to a specific area or is that global education available for sisters in business yeah so um anyone is able to access um the services or the events that we create and provide. Um, if they head on over to the link in our IG bio, they will find all the, the links, whether it's to become a vendor, a volunteer, a sponsor, to have their product sold in the store. All of those application links are right in our bio. Um, and so that's the best way. Or they can, of course, head on over to our websites uh, for the expo. It's sistersinbusinessexpo.com. Uh, or for our store, it's the sistershop.com. Um, and but easiest way is to just tap on the link in our bio. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, where where did this come from? What made you want to create Sisters in Business Shops and your passion behind it? Where where did that come from? 
Um, you know, the short answer is God. Um, this was a vision that he gave me and has, um, you know, helped us to bring to life. Um, it started as an idea, uh, something that I wish I had had when I started my first business with my sister close to 20 years ago. We always wanted to participate in trade shows uh, and expos and things like that, but either they were too expensive uh, for, you know, your average small business or they um, were selective or exclusive to certain industries. Or, or types of businesses. Uh, at the time, we had a service-based business, and so we didn't always feel like our uh, our business fit uh, in these types of events, but we knew the value that came from being in them. Um, and so I just wanted to create something that would help um, to provide that platform that we wish we had had, as well as that community, you know, an affordable and accessible act expo where you can come, showcase your products and services, grow your business, but also get a lot of information. The other parts of the brand really came um, um, after when we began to hear back from the sisters and learned about what they needed, what they wanted to see more of. And that's how the university came to be. That's how the foundation and the grants came to be. Um, the store came uh, as a result of COVID. Um, that was our God-given COVID pivot, um, you know, as a means to still support the brands that when we could no longer host expos, but still they still needed a platform to showcase their products and services. And so that is um, really how, how this brand came to be and how it has grown. Absolutely. Thank him for the pivot. Everyone had to pivot in, um, during the COVID season 2021 through basically 2022 now. We're just now coming out. But the beginnings of it really did cause entrepreneurs and, and to really rethink, rebrand, and pivot. Tell us um, about pivoting in business. What are some of the major challenges that African-American women face in business and trying to pivot? And, and what's the best way to do that? Um, you know, there are many, of course, as, as we mentioned earlier, funding, right, not having access to um, the funding and the capital needed uh, to really grow and scale um, and finding other ways to, to make it happen and to get it done. Um, also, um, we get a lot of no's, right? We get a lot of rejection. Um, uh, we get told a lot that something is not possible or that we're not qualified. And so, um, you know, when, as I said, you know, when we don't have a way, we have to make a way. Um, and so we pivot every day when we find a way to get it done. When, when we get a no in one area and we just go knock on another door or make another call or send another email. So, um, I think it's just a natural instinct for us, um, to, to figure figure it out, right? That everything is figure outable. And, um, you know, just because we have been given one no doesn't necessarily mean that that is the end all be all. In fact, it's probably just a better opportunity out there. And we just got to figure out what it is. Great, great, great. So I have here that the Sisters in Business Expo welcomes hundreds of attendees. And you have over 75 vendors that will be coming out this Saturday, September 10th, at the Gas South Convention Center. This will provide a platform where women of color can showcase their product services while gaining valuable resources and information from such speakers as Yandy Smith, Harris, and AJ Akua Johnson. Tell us about the relationship of those and, and the powerful message that you um, expect them to bring this Saturday. Yeah, sure. Um, so we have updated our um, agenda. Um, so Yandy Smith Harris will be there. Um, Ms. Johnson will not. Um, but we have been with Yandy's been with us for several years um, awesome. and has been our featured speaker. She always just brings such an incredible energy and insight. She's a serial entrepreneur herself um, and is always an incredible addition to our experience. Um, this year we have um, Oh, actually close to 100 vendors uh, who will be showcasing their products and wow. services from every industry, uh, clothing, accessories, skincare, home goods, decor, arts, crafts, everything, authors, um, a lot of professional services. So we're really excited about our vendor showcase. We also have uh, two incredible panels that are going to blow us away. We have our superpower panel, um, which highlights hugely successful uh, Black women entrepreneurs from the Atlanta area um, who are going to be sharing their stories on how they built their brands, um, as well as our authorpreneur panel, which talks about how um, becoming 
becoming an author can help to, to propel your brand as well. And so um, we're really looking forward to the incredible lineup that we have. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Is it too late? Has the doors closed for vendors or anyone that's still looking for an opportunity to connect on the vendor side? Or has that closed? Do you still have any space? Is there any room in the end? Any room left in the end? Uh, it's very little. Um, and if they wanted, they'd have to move immediately. Um, there you go. The, the application and everything will be coming down tomorrow. Um, and we do just have very limited spaces left in very limited categories. So most categories are, are filled. Um, but depending on what the business is, they might have a chance to get in. But again, they would have to move expeditiously in order to secure that space. Wow. How about tickets? How much of the tickets are? What is the cost? Have you uh, have you sold out yet? Swag her audience. We need to help sell out the building. What what about those tickets? Are there still plenty of tickets left to attend? Yeah, so tickets are definitely available. They're also available at the door. Um, we also have um, virtual tickets available. So for okay. those who um, are uh, not local or not available to physically be in the room, but want to experience the speakers and the panel panels and our virtual vendor expo, um, they can get tickets as well. So anywhere in the country, you can experience, anywhere in the world, really, you can experience the event on Saturday. Um, and so we're really excited about that addition to this year's uh, experience. Uh, and so they can head on over also to the link in our bio or to our website. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But Swag Her Magazine is excited to partner with you this weekend and connect it. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> Um, to be able to interview you on this platform and help get the word out. And uh, tell us a little bit about the sh sister shop in Atlanta. If someone comes to Atlanta to visit and want to support our sister, tell us about the sister shop in Atlanta and what to expect when, when the shopping experience at your location. And where is it located? Sure. So the sister shop is our second location. Our first store is uh, in Elizabeth, New Jersey at the Jersey Gardens Mall. Our Atlanta store opened on uh, Juneteenth weekend here uh, in Atlanta at Atlantic Station. Uh, it's actually right across from the Publix on the corner of 17th and, and Atlantic Drive. Um, and that shop also features over 100 brands uh, by okay. women of color entrepreneurs. Um, and so we're really excited. It's a beautiful space. We also host networking events, launches, mixers, things there as well. And um, the beautiful part about our retail space is that if you are not located near one of the stores, you can still shop online. Um, and we ship out every single day from, from both stores. So um, we're really, really grateful and excited about that addition to our brand. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Well, I'm your girl, your homie, your sister from around the way, Lady Tiffany Nicole. And we have had an amazing, um, powerful conversation of Black Girl Magic today here on Swag Girl Magazine with Aisha Taylor Issa, founder and CEO of the Sister Shop in Atlanta and the Sisters in Business Expo. Make sure you go on over to www sisters s-i-s-t-a-h-s in business expo dot com register 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 this is well worth an investment not just for for yourself but for your business and also connect with them online you can also follow them at s-i-b expo s-i-b yes, expo the short in website there as well Okay, the short end website. Come on, because we, you know, our can just Spanish short. <laughs> SIB Expo dot US as well. Make sure you guys follow um, Sisters in Business Expo. Are there any other platforms that you guys are on that we can get more information from you? Is it Twitter, Facebook? What other places can they follow this this movement of Sisters in Business? Yeah, so we have, um, of course, Instagram. Uh, Facebook is at Sisters in Business Expo. Twitter is at SIB Expo. TikTok is at SIB Expo. LinkedIn at Sisters in Business Expo. So we're everywhere. Um, Google us. You can find us. You can connect with us. We also have a private Facebook group. Uh, called the Sister Source uh, for anyone who is uh, interested in joining that. And that's, of course, S-I-S-T-A-H, the Sister Source. Yeah, so what is next? For Aisha Taylor. <laughs>
<laughs> a nap, a nap. We are, um, you know, we're just trying to make it through the end of this tour. We have another stop in Newark, New Jersey, October 21st and 22nd. That city is a two-day experience. Friday is our conference um and our sisters in business university conference which is a full day of teaching and training um oh, and yeah. um and the pitch competition is that evening and then saturday is our expo um and so we still have a lot of work to do um and then after that we take a little break and just get ready for the next year we'll also be announcing our fall uh schedule of courses for our university so we got a lot. A lot is next. <laughs> we just uh, encourage people to join our mailing list. Um, that link is also in our bio, so that way you don't miss out on anything, just in case you don't see it on on social media. Absolutely. Well, well, well. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I truly enjoyed connecting with you. I will get uh, with the person connected and, and with fans, these swagger, to see about us possibly um, interviewing you, coming out and doing the radio show live um, this Saturday morning if possible because I'm really booked up to, to do it. There's just so much going on in Atlanta, which is positive things. We are doing some things here in Atlanta. Black women, sisters, are opening businesses is not what it looks like. Don't pay attention to the news. Y'all, God is in the blessing business. Trust him. You have people like Aisha, Taylor, Issa with information and platforms and ways to support you and help you. You do not have to do this by yourself. There are some good sisters doing yes. real business, doing good business, doing valuable business, being of integrity and of good character. Don't let what the past happened burn you. The enemy is a liar. There are positive platforms for African American women, us sisters, doing business where we are collaborating and not competing and doing what we need to do. My girl B. Bossy, her asked if you needed any facilitators for your university. She's an awesome resource here in Atlanta, has been connected with Invest Atlanta. So look her up and uh, see yeah, if there's any also, connection there. Go ahead. Sure, and the link in our bio, the link in our bio has a speaker interest form. Um, so she could use that as well so that we can get her information and stay connected. There you go. There you go. As, as, as we said, there's enough for everyone to eat. I'm looking at daily uh, grant opportunities from the small business and um, from the government and other opportunities. There is money to be had. You just have to get in position and pivot, as we learned earlier, to get in the right position to receive and follow through on your vision. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Please follow her, SIB Expo, everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, look it up. Go to Sistas, S-I-S-T-A-H-S, InBusinessExpo.com. Get your ticket, get connected. And when you follow them on Instagram, make sure you click that link to get more information to get the resources you need. Thank you so much, Queen, for joining us here Thank on you. Swagger. Yes, listen, Swagger Magazine, check out Swag. We are more. Been a man. You. You're welcome. <laughs> I am your girl, your homie. Get something from around the way. Lady Tina Nicole, Power Influence Radio, has sponsored this opportunity for you to get some education and information. Until then, be blessed. Follow us, the Virtuous Hour, as well as Power Influence Radio, as well. Make sure you download that app, 24 Hour Encouragement, music, radio, and shows to come. I'm your girl, Lady Tina Nicole. Thank you, Swagger Magazine. Peace out.